Hey everybody, Ryan with CPP Tech. How you guys doing today? Uh, as you saw in the description or what have you, we're actually going to take a look at one of these aftermarket eye pens. Uh, I do not have one in an earlier eye pen to compare it to, but I've had this eye pen for going on a good year now, and I have had no issues whatsoever, latency or what have you. So I'm not going to do an unboxing, but it's actually the eye pens X1. Um, so you see that, and then it's the iPins X1. It comes in this nice little cool white box, even though the pin is black. Uh, it does come with the pin and a charger, which the charger is white and the pin's black. But regardless, it works just as good. Um, there's a button here on the top, and uh, when you press it, I don't know if you can see it well enough, but there's a blue light. And there's a red light. So I'm going to press it, red light. There's a blue light that's on, and then a red light when it's off. So it actually charges from the top. So you have to plug it in here and then throw the USB in. Uh, it does have the, the USB, I think, what is that, C? So you can actually have a longer, a longer charger if you wish. So... But it just sits on a magnet like so on the top and charges the pen. Uh, it does not come with a brick. Uh, I guess we're also now used to stuff not coming with bricks anymore. So I'm still kind of disappointed. But you know what? Here's the deal. I paid $19.99 for this on Amazon. Uh, the regular eye pens are anywhere between $100 to $150. Uh, I am using the iPad 8, and I don't think this pen actually will work on the newer generations. However, they do have a, an equivalent to this pen for the newer generation iPads. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to go over to the iPad, and I'm going to show you in Adobe Illustrator, I believe, on how well this pen works. So let's go ahead and get on over there. But first, before you do that, light up that subscribe button. So let's get over here to the iPad real quick and uh, do a little demonstration. Like I said, this video isn't going to be very long. All right, so what we're going to do is go over here to Adobe Draw. I'm sorry, it's not Adobe. Yeah, it was Adobe Illustration Draw. Okay, so we're going to get out of that. So you've already had one project. So we're going to open that up and make sure the iPin's on. So the iPin's on. So we're going to tap one of these. And let's see, sketch with grids, tap here. See how it's, how do I clear it? It's been a while since I've used this. Here we go. So let's go ahead and make my, one of my favorite characters. I come up with. It's pretty cool, but no latency, no nothing. It's uh, you know, some hairy, hairy, hairy ears. You know, maybe, maybe a tooth here, here, here. So, but yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. It works. So, sign my name. But it uh. I'm just tapping it. I don't know how to clear this out. Let's go ahead and let's do another one here, shall we? Try this thing. Oh, yeah. Suave. Suave, yeah. Get some green shirts going on here. Go back to here. Get a thing of mouth. Maybe a green. Yeah, let's do a blue tongue. Yeah. And let's go black again. 
Um, go ahead and There's some eyebrows going on here. Have a some snot coming out of his nose. Oh yeah, he just sneezes. A chew, a chew, a chew. Yeah, this thing's pretty cool though. Um, go back to color purple. So it it's pretty it's pretty responsive. It really is. Um, get out of that. Do that. To do. Settings, rotate canvas, rotate canvas, rotate canvas. Pretty cool. 90, 40, lean brush basics. I mean, there's so much stuff. Yeah. I think I got into the... Yeah, I know. Exit out of this. Um, That was just a demonstration. So, I mean... Background. I'm just coloring all over my guy now. Wee! I mean, it's it's really responsive. So, if you guys are thinking of getting yourself one of these uh, cheaper style eye pens, uh, like I said, I've been using this for over a year and I have not had a problem with it yet. Uh, I really like it. Uh, I used it a lot whenever I was doing video editing with with uh, my iPad and uh some photoshop stuff it, it's really responsive my wife actually just got one today uh it's a different brand and it seems to do okay but we haven't only used it but but a day so i'm not sure how well that one is however i've been using this this ipin x1 for oh like i said a year and it's it's really it's really good responsive it's uh, it's a really good find, really good buy. It's a really good alternative than the hundred to one hundred fifty dollar eye pins that are actually out there. So, I highly recommend it, and uh, and uh, I'll put a link below for one of these or equivalent to. Uh, meaning, I don't know if they've got the X2 now out. I haven't really taking a gander at it but on the box if you look on the box here that's what color the pen is even though it comes in a white box so i just want to give you a demonstration on that so anyway like i said before uh do me a favor and share and subscribe if you like this video throw some comments down below and anyway i appreciate it guys have a good day take care and i will see you again bye